Hi, my name is David Friend, co-founder and CEO of Wasabi. Until Wasabi, cloud storage was actually pretty expensive. The cost of running on-premises storage is typically $20 to $30 per terabyte per month, roughly the same as the cost of cloud storage from vendors like Amazon, IBM, and Microsoft. So there hasn't been a huge economic advantage to moving data to the cloud. Wasabi has changed that. Wasabi at $6 per terabyte per month and with no egress charges, cuts the cost of cloud storage by roughly 80%. So there's now a much bigger payoff for migrating storage from on-premises equipment to the cloud. Wasabi's price even rivals the cost of tape storage. Tape has been the medium of choice for archival storage for decades. In 2016, the manufacturers of LTO tape shipped 96,000 petabytes of tape, up 26% from the prior year. But why would you want to use tape when it could take hours or days to retrieve your data, when you can retrieve data from Wasabi in milliseconds and at roughly the same cost? Over the next decade, much of the data that's been stored on tape will migrate to the cloud where it can be accessed instantly. For example, Hollywood has tens of thousands of films and TV shows archived on tape. If you want to watch one of these old shows, you're out of luck. Studios are discovering that there's an audience for everything and that they can turn all this old content into revenue by making it available online. If the cost of storage drops by 80%, suddenly it starts to make economic sense to take data out of cold storage like tapes and make it available online. In Hollywood, they call this de-archiving and Wasabi is leading the charge. But cheap, fast cloud storage is not only good for big established organizations, it's great for innovators and startups too. Among our thousands of customers are startups that probably hope to be the next Facebook or Instagram. Consider a typical free app that uses a lot of storage for photos, movies, or other media. Storage may in fact be the biggest operating expense in such a business. Reducing the cost of storage by 80% means that business models that were completely impractical at Amazon's prices suddenly look pretty attractive. We don't know which of our customers is going to become the next Facebook or Instagram, but for sure they have a better shot at it if the storage costs aren't killing them. I'm David Friend, and thank you for watching.